Keefe D confessed to his involvement in the murder of your son Tupac Shakur recently. Suge Knight has spoken out and was asked would he testify if he was called and he said no. And he also said free Keefe D. I know. What are your feelings behind that? I did that. Maybe Keefe D worked for you. Maybe that's my feeling about that. But he also said the same thing about Tupac. If you could identify the person who shot Tupac, he, I think he almost said, I saw him or something to that nature. And he said, flat, no. Come on. Either you're going to do something to that individual or you're going to identify him. One, one, one way or the other, you know? So you think that it's just the uh, code of the streets or you, just, you, you. I think it was just bullshit, bro. I think it was just bullshit. Between you and I, I wouldn't trust anything Shig Nice said. He's not an honorable man. And why would you say that Suge Knight's not an honorable man? One, he cheated all his artists out of their just pay, their royalties. Two, he had a reputation for doing bodily harm to people for whatever reason he decided. Either one were very bad. Not a good environment. He's not a good person. Not an honest person either. On July 17th, 2023, you sitting at home and you hear Las Vegas police have raided the house of Keefe D based on the investigation involving the murder of your son, Tupac Shakur. Where were you when you heard the information? If I you were I, at home. I think I was home. You was home. I was a tad surprised. You know, when somebody double teams your boy. And they were boys, the government and him, Keefe D, worked for the, you just pay on the proper agreement. You signed the paper. You in business with the government who's now trying to crucify you. What type of arrangement is that? How did you get to that? Where's the truth in that? If there is any. I think he used them and now they're using him. So, so basically, you're thinking that the government is using uh, Keefe D no doubt. To, already, clo to close the case. Exactly. They already used him with his continuous thing about Orlando Anderson. He did his job. He fulfilled his goal. That's what we needed you out there for. That's why we gave you the proper agreement. You asked me that in the first interview. I said he had some issues. And you got issues, you go into jail. Nobody wants to go to them hell holes. So they offer you a lifeline, sign this. Most people will sign that. They just will. So do you think he was coerced into signing the agreement in regard? It's, do you think they fed him information and he agreed with the information? He had to. There's no doubt. Unless he was there and did it. Either way, he's guilty. He's the type of dude who would tell the slave master where the slaves was hiding. He's just that type of dude. He has no principle. Come on, man. He's a gangbanger. And no, no, no offense to the gangbangers, they caught up in some shit. But listen to him talk and how he justified all his actions for the last 27 years. I look at him with disdain, whether he shot my son or not. He's just not a good individual. He's just not a good human being. Now, if you shot my son, you're an animal. F you hope you die. But that's just what I, that's just me. <laughs> That's just me. So on September 29th, 2023, you hear the news that Keefe D has been arrested and charged in the connection with the murder of your son, Tupac Shakur. What goes through your mind? From, for a slight second, you think progress, and then you realize it's just part of the game. It actually has nothing to do with anything. Because he's sitting there, people still think it was on their hands. They, they, just, they can't push together, you know what I mean? People just sometimes don't think. They, they take the easiest path. And that's usually the first one that's offered to them. Whatever it is, you know, that they just, we're walking down the street now. We're going to continue walking with this lie. So it wouldn't have mattered, you know, who knows. So, so when you say that when, when Keefe D gets arrested, you don't think that he spoke outside of what they had offered, the deal that they had offered, the proffer agreement that they had offered him, do you think by him doing the various other interviews, that he somehow was violating the proffer agreement and speaking That's out? could possibly well be. I think they thought he was going too far. Uh, who knows? 
uh, he wasn't a very intelligent man. And sometimes greed, people offer you money to come on the show. It's hard to turn down that money. Give you a book deal, it's hard to turn down that money. He's a hustler. So maybe he thought it'd be best in his best interest to continue to do that. I think they used him as long as they needed to use him. 27 years, that's a totally different generation. Let's pump these monkeys with some new information, some new lies. Let's muddy these waters a little bit, gray up the situation, have them talking some more. So Lando and them went to Keefe D. Okay, what's next? Then what's next? I don't know if we ever see that first one. Who gave the order? <laughs>